We rolling? All right, we're rolling. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Memphis, guys. So today, guys, uh, this, I didn't make a lot of reaction to TLC, but I decided to make a review of it. So, yep. So, this is what we're going to do today. So, this is a review of TLC 2020. So, yep, let's go ahead and get to it. And also, guys, make sure you guys please hit the video with the likes. Subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And put a comment, and put the comment down. Uh, what's your best match of all? What's the best match of all time? Of TLC 2020. So let's go ahead and get to the reviews. Okay. First, I gotta talk about Drew McIntyre and versus AJ Styles. Okay. It was a it was an awesome dream match. Uh you gotta admit though, AJ Styles he tried to do his best, but then but I realized that the Miz the Miz cashed in his money in the bank like until like, you know, when Drew McIntyre was trying to get the title. Man, I mean, for real, they almost just put put the Miz through the table. Did you everyone know the Miz started to cash in? And almost just sent the Miz through the table. And then Morrison was, uh, you know, Morrison, he was kind of using the chair. And then, uh, but it didn't affect almost. He is like a Braun Strowman. Imagine if we have Braun Strowman versus almost. All right? Imagine if we have that match. It will be cool. But anyway, though, yeah. And then almost try try to scare John Morrison. So they went, they went out of the ring. They went out of the arena. So, yeah. So when the match was official. So the match was official. When the Miz cashed in, it was AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre versus the Miz for the WWE Championship. And the tables are the chair match. And uh, Drew McIntyre won the match. Okay. So what I'm saying is, though, that... The investment man is making all the mistakes. He's making all the stuff mistakes. He made the mistakes of the drive, and now he's making mistakes of the Miz. Cashing his money to make at TLC. He should have just cashed it out at WrestleMania or at the Royal Rumble. He shouldn't have just done that. But uh, yeah, but anyway, Miz, you just lost your briefcase, so I think you might have a ton of opportunity if you go have a triple threat match. All right, next one. I gotta say, Sasha Banks and Carmella was the great match I great match of all time. Because see their robbery, they started at Friday Night SmackDown and uh yeah, I was excited. I was excited for um Carmella. Cause see Carmella was the first ever SmackDown women's champion when she beat Charlotte Flair twice and she beat Oscar twice. But Sasha, she beat Charlotte uh, three times in a row? No, nah, not three times in a row, but two times in a row. Okay, no, nah, three times in a row. Okay, three times in a row. Three times. And she beat Oscar two times in a row. If it wasn't for Bailey and uh, it wasn't for Bailey. So, the match started. Carmella super kicked her. Okay, and then her freaking maid. And then her freaking maid. Bro, I mean, for real, Carmella's maid got hit with a Meteora. That was, like, the rawest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, so the next one, I'm going to go ahead and So, yeah, anyway, Carmella trying to, get for the, go to go for the code of silence. And then Sasha, Sha, Sasha, Sasha, Sasha Banks reversed it and put it into the bank statement. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think, I think, you know, Carmella tried to go for the Bella Buster, try to copy Nikki Bella and Brie Bella's moves. And, um, yeah, uh, Sasha reversed it and put it into the bank statement. That was like, okay, so, yeah, I gave that match 9 to 10. 9 to 10. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I will go ahead and say that, though, man. I mean, for real, Carmella, I mean, Sasha Banks had retained her title, and I'm so proud of her right now. All right, let's get to the next one. The next one is the Hurt Business versus the New Day. Uh, okay, these two, okay, these two tag teams have been getting robberies during Monday Night Raw when you know the New Day defeated the Hurt Business at Monday Night Raw to face the Street Profits at Survivor Series, and uh, yeah, you know what? No, I mean for real. So let me say Okay, I mean for real. The match was cool. The match was cool, alright? The match was really cool. Alright, and uh, yeah, Sergeant Guy said he did good stuff, and I like, I really like, I really like Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander working together as the Hurt Business. 
And yeah, so yeah, so Cedric, Shelton, and Bobby Lashley have to go. So I'm thinking MVP is next. They have the WWE Championship opportunity. Because see, since all the Hurt Business have all the gold, I'm thinking it could be MVP having a title opportunity. But yeah, I'm proud of Cedric and Shelton Benjamin, but I'm thinking that Vincent Man trying to have an idea about splitting the her business, but I kinda like it. So yeah. So Vincent Man cut the cut the thing out and um yeah, and then he decided to let them, you know, face the new day at TLC. And uh yeah, I like I like how Vincent Man did that John though, but I mean for real. So anyway, so yeah. Uh, so Shelly Benjamin was trying to deliver a pay dirt to Kofi Kingston, but Alexander tagged himself and then he hit Kofi with the lumber check and then one, two, three, we have new Raw Tag Team Champions, bro. I was shocked. I was completely shocked when that thing, when that just happened. I mean, for real. If, if, you know, Cedric Alexander might be a top superstar of WWE right now, including Shelly Benjamin, Bobby Lashley, and MVP. Okay, so because see those the hard business are like my least favorite. No matter of fact, my second best tag teams of all time. All right, next one, next one, next one, next one. Yeah, oh yeah. So we just found out Oscar's mystery partner was Charlotte. It was Charlotte. I keep telling you guys this whole entire time on my prediction that it was going to be Charlotte. Charlotte came back. I was, I was, I was hyped when she came back, bro. Okay, I got a woo. Woo! We got a mid though. Welcome back, Charlotte. Um, yeah. So they have to face the team of the women's tag team champions, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. And yeah. I, I really, I really think a um, lot is gonna turn on Oscar. Just imagine, and because now we finally have, okay, so yeah, Oscar tagged in Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte gave her the flare chops. Woo, 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 woo. But yeah, I kind of, I kind of like those guys. I like how Charlotte came back. And uh, yeah, so at the end, Charlotte delivered a figure four leg lock, and Shayna Baszler tapped out. And there you guys have it. There were the new women's tag team champions, and I'm so excited for because now the reign of Oscar and Shayna Baszler is over with, finally. So I wonder what is next for uh, for for Oscar and Charlotte Flair since they finally won their women's tag team championships. So. I wonder who's going to be the next number one contenders for it. I cannot wait. Okay. Now, here's the other thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about Roman Reigns and and Kevin Owens. That, okay, you know what? I got to admit, though, Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns had the best match, bro. They had the best match. They had the best match of the year. I mean, for real. The rivalry started in Roblox 2016 to Royal Rumble 2017, and the one and also where Chris Jericho beat pinned Roman Reigns for the United States Championship at Monday Night Raw, like a lot of years ago. And uh, yeah, that was good rivalry. And you know, if it wasn't for um uh, Jay Uso, I mean, I think Jay Uso might be injured since. He super kicked the chair that might have injured his ankle. And, um, yeah, I'm so, sh I was, I mean, but you got to admit, though, Kevin, Kevin Owens, he fight, he fought hard and harder, man. You got to admit, though, bro, this man did a good job on everything, man. Look, I'm not trying to start with this crap, but I'm thinking Kevin Owens might win this Royal Rumble. Because... I think the feud is not going to be over over between Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns because I, mean, I think they might do the same thing like Roadblock and Royal Rumble 2017. So I think they might do the same thing and the same thing just like 2021. You know, because you guys know 2021 because it's going to be the end of the year. But uh, yeah. Okay, but yeah, you got to admit though. You got to admit. 
Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns was a good match of all time. That should have been the main event. But yes, uh, yeah, but Jay Uso interfered. And yeah, Roman Reigns put Kevin Owens in the GNT lock. And you know, yeah. I'm trying to admit. You gotta admit this, guys. You gotta admit. And then all of a sudden, Kevin Owens was down and out. And Roman Reigns was still your Universal Champion. Okay. Now, I gotta talk about the main event. I gotta talk about the main event. Man, the main event was the Fiend Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton and then Firefly Inferno match. Look, I gotta get that rating match a 10. Because, you know, fires. Did I see the fire that up pulled up, man? It was totally cool. The heck of a cool thing, man. But, uh, yeah, I was so excited about that, that, that becoming the main event. I'm so glad, you know, I mean, the Charlotte Flair return can, can be the main event, but I kind of like the Fiend and Randy Orton's feud at uh, TLC 2020 because it brings us history on what happened. So, yeah, Randy Orton burned Bray Wyatt's house in 2017, and, uh, yeah, the feud was awesome. But, you know, I gotta think of this, though. I gotta think of this. So, yeah. So, yeah, so let me tell you something. Okay, there was too much flames. There was fire. Bro, I mean, for real, the Fiend almost burned Randy Orton in a rocking chair. It was almost about to melt it. And when I first saw uh, the Fiend hit a hit mandible claw, his jacket was on fire. His jacket was on fire. Like, hey, they should get the fire, fire extinguisher. But, yeah, uh, Randy Orton delivered an RKO. And and then he uh, put fire. And then um, he turned a, a, a flame lighter on and put the fire on the entire body of the Fiend Bray Wyatt, man. Good to see, because Randy Orton be hearing voices. Y'all got to be careful with that Viper. He's a legend killer now. He's a legend killer. But I also think a WWE might do an adult content again. And that's what I'm thinking they might go ahead and do. But, yeah. I cannot wait to see their feud happening again between Randy Orton and The Fiend, Drew McIntyre, and AJ Styles. Or maybe the WWE might be planning to do Drew McIntyre versus The Miz. And I, was, and I want to see another feud with Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. Okay, guys. But got to admit, I got to give the TLC pay-per-view a 100. Because, you see, they did the best pay-per-view show of all time. But, yeah, in the way, though, that was a good match. This, okay, yeah. That is it for the review, guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I want to say have a happy, happy holiday. Make sure you guys go ahead and get this, get this video 350 subscribers, okay? Give this video 350 subscribers, all right? As long as that, make sure you guys hit this video with the likes and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And put a comment down on what is your favorite match and what was your favorite part of TLC 2020. As always, guys, that's it for today's video, guys. Peace.